Hello and welcome back to our channel. I am Morgan, and you're watching Currency Speaks YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine. Let's start today. We know their foreign currency reserves are up, that's one of the things that help it. We know that their gold reserves are up, that's another thing that helps strengthen the currency. Governmental stability that has not been there for a long time, although this government looks pretty good. I'm not hearing anything negative. Still hearing things are progressing nicely behind the scenes. I continue to get a lot of anticipation from a couple of sources for something happening next week. I don't know if we are ready yet, but I do feel that we are close. If anything happens, we will announce it. Why does everybody keep talking about the HCL is in the budget? The only thing I have seen is the foundation for the oil and gas law between Iraq and Kurdistan in the budget. This is not the HCL portion for the citizens. They are two separate issues. The Central Bank of Iraq decided on Thursday to increase the monthly share of the dollar for citizens wishing to travel from the dollar, as well as the weekly share for exchange companies. The bank instructed, in a document seen by Shafak News Agency, addressed to licensed government and private banks, that the share of the citizen traveling through air and land ports be at $3,000 per month, starting from next Sunday. The bank stipulated that the Electronic Platform for Cash Sales, FITR, be approved exclusively to record the data of daily cash sales for travelers. The share of the citizen wishing to travel was $10,000, and it was reduced to $2,000, to be increased now by $1,000. In another document addressed to the B exchange companies, the bank said, it was decided to increase the ceiling of the weekly cash amount of dollars allocated to your companies to become $750,000 per week as of next Sunday, and that the aim of this is based on the objectives of this bank to achieve stability in the general level of prices and exchange rates and to meet the high demand for foreign currency in the local markets. The bank confirmed that the electronic platform for cash sale FITIR will be used exclusively to record the data of daily cash sales received through the window. It is likely that this new decision contributed to the decline in the price of the U.S. dollar against the Iraqi dinar today on the Baghdad Stock Exchange, where it reached 14,722 dinars per $100 after it touched earlier 150,000 dinars per $100. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more new videos.